Welcome, Dark Warriors. This is Rumin in Love. Last time we thought... Actually, I don't know if it was the last time because I haven't edited this yet, so I don't know if this was one or two episodes ago. It depends on how I splice it up. But last time we fought a Guardian and it took forever and... Yeah. I grinded a little bit off camera, so all of my characters are at or above level 60 now. And before... I go to wherever the next area might be. I'm going to see if there are any more private actions. Okay, so neither of these towns have any private actions left in them, so I guess I will ideally go north. Like, I'm guessing we're supposed to go in a clockwise direction around this map. So, I already did that dungeon right there. So, next we should go here. Because this is the closest area to that dungeon. Oh my gosh. Let's... Okay, let's meet back here later. I like the song. This reminds me of... Savalent from Star Ocean 1, except it's... Way more interesting looking. Man, Savalent was so disappointing in Star Ocean 1. Woo, it's a snowman! Can I talk to the snowman? No, of course not. Yeah, I still hold the opinion that Savalent is like one of the most disappointing things ever. Because the whole game, like, like so many random NPCs you talk to, like an NPC like this, will just mention Savalin and how beautiful it is and how great it is for the whole game. And then you go to Savalin near the end of the game and it's a drab, colorless city that isn't really that big. So... It was just really disappointing. I have a lot of issues with Star Ocean First Departure, if I'm being honest. Uh, why don't you go play outside? I don't like the cold. Leon, you're a cat. If we are going to stay at the inn, we should all stay together. If I just had four years... What does that mean? If I just had four years? What? I'm getting mysterious vibes. Like, I have no idea what this guy is talking about, and this music is rather mystical. Can't go in there. I made it. Isn't it cool, Teehee? Oh, he built this snowman right here. No matter what, there is only one truth. I, I guess that's true sometimes, yeah. Whoa. Alan told me I shouldn't eat the rotten sashimi. You mean Alan from earlier in the game? Or is that a different Alan? This, this is a cool interior. So much depth here. Oh, I, I can't get on that stage. If I didn't come here to drink, I didn't come here to drink, I am listening to the music, but no one else seems to be listening. Well, of course you didn't come here to drink. You're a little kid. What will you have? Well, then again, I guess I'm biased because I, I live in the country of like one of the highest drinking ages in the world. So, yeah. I feel good, just a little tipsy. I guess that's everything in here. Look at these posters on the wall. You can barely see them. Yeah, it's everything. I really like this song. I really do. My friends who have... My friends who had good grades in Hallology have all been drafted into the Defense Force. Ooh. So that's implying that the Defense Force is... Trying to get powerful mages on their team. How about that? 
What's happening here? Oh, who might you be? Excuse me, but is this Noel's house? My, my, are you an acquaintance of Professor Noel? Well, yes. Is that right? Please excuse me. My name is Shermiz. I am a student of Professor Noel. I shall get the professor immediately. Professor, Professor Noel. You have a guest. Please come in. Oh, then. Thank you, I will. This is a really interesting private action. It's like a whole cutscene. Hmm, oh, hi, Claude. Yeah, hi, Noel. Sorry about dropping in unannounced. Yeah, we're on the same team. I, I can look at you in my status. What's up? Don't worry about it. I'll get you some tea, so stay a while. Oh, please, let me get the tea. Thank you, Shermiz. Please do. I really hope that's not pronounced Cherms. Uh, who, Noel, who was that person? Oh, are you talking about Sh Shermiz? A, a long time ago, she was a student of mine. After I resigned from the university to travel for about for my research, she sometimes comes over to the house talk to take care of things like now. Wow, she really is great. Yes, you're right. She has really helped out a lot. Even though I have been taken care of so well, I think she should settle herself down pretty soon. When I had asked her about that, she just laughed and changed the subject. Ah, she likes him. Noel, did you actually ask her about that? Eh, of course. Why do you ask? Oh, it's nothing. Hmm. Now that I think of it, Claude, shall I introduce you to Shermis? Perhaps something could come of it. I would feel safe in introducing her to someone like you, Claude. Noel, are you really serious? Oh, of course, I'm serious. What about it? Oh, nothing. This, th this is kind of a weird private action. Oh my gosh, get through that door. Uh, Let me talk to you. Are you living so soon? Why don't you stay a little longer? Um... There has to be something else here. This uh, this private action isn't over yet. I like the elephant on the wall. That's cool. Hold on a second. She really is a good girl. Hold on a second. Maybe if I keep leaving and re-entering. No, that's it. What's up? What is up with this? Sure, sure, Miz, why, why are you here? Did Noel really ask you to leave, or are you just staying because you want to? Better re-enter. Yeah, he's upstairs. Okay, I, I guess that really is everything. All right. Okay. That's kind of a weird private action. It is. Because it seemed like it was building up to something and then it didn't. Look. In the light. I'm, I'm lit up by the light. I knew it would do it. It's so cold, I'm going to freeze. Aren't you wearing a blanket? If you're so cold, put on some clothes. It's no joke. My pride is a my pride as a heraldry user of the village of Mars does not permit it. I mean, well, Claude, is there some logic? Well, Claude, there is some logic to what you say. Maybe I should put something on. I don't know. 
You can wear whatever you want. You, this, this, this is, you are wearing the most modest thing in this game because you're wearing an entire cloak. So, yeah. Uh, the truth changes depending on the eye of the beholder. For example, the truth is in your eyes. It is The truth in your eyes certainly slightly different than the truth in your friend's eyes. Hmm, this is different from what the guy said out there about there only being one truth. Like, Celine, you're you're literally wearing a shower curtain. It is okay. It's fine. I can't... I can't go over there. Nor can I go over here. I wish the village of Arlia had a university like this. Check this out. Whoa. Weird statue there. Ah, look at this greenery. This is a very pretty building. I'm just taking it all in right now. Whoa. What is this? Nothing, I guess. Why is the university all empty? Whoa, it's all it's it, it it's so cozy in here. Yeah, I am looking for something to read. Whoa, look at all the detail. In the space between an eternity field, the message of time is completely halted. So anything within the space is unable to perform an activity perform any activity at all. That's interesting. Is the eternity field gonna be a dungeon later? Maybe there, there was a there was a time when experiments have, were performed in an attempt to create persons with even stronger hidden powers of heraldry. Moreover, the people born as a result were no different from ordinary Nedians. Ah. The heraldry arts also include the art of drawing up a contract to cause the soul of the practitioner to be embodied within the body of a dead person. However, if the use of this art becomes known to other people, the soul of the practitioner will be extinguished due to the power of the soul of language. Like, what? Ex fucking excuse me? So, if you put your soul inside of a dead body, your soul will be destroyed if other people know about it. How, is this useful information? That's that's interesting. So weird. Oh, what a drag. If only they had a if only they had a database like in North City. The power Oh my gosh, there's so many books in this library. The, pa the, the power generated by the Eternity Field can only be released from outside by entering the same release password that was set at the beginning. Oh boy, am I gonna... Am I gonna have to remember this for the Eternity Field later? Okay, so basically... Th this is saying I need to use a password at the, at the start, okay. The Heraldry Weapons Laboratory was established by an uninhabited... Was established on an uninhabited planet in the Beta Sector by surrounding the laboratory with a space-time shift shield inter interaction with the outside. It is completely cut off. The only entrance is the transporter located in Armlock. Ha have I been to Armlock yet? I don't think so. How you doing, Shisato? Shisato, what are you doing? Oh, Claude, I'm just reading a little about the history of this energy nede. Wow. It's not that I don't believe the words of Mayor Narl, but we can't make an objective judgment based on information from only a single viewpoint. It does not seem that these materials are all written from the viewpoint of Nidian, so the contents are biased after all. Even then, it must be much better than not looking, isn't that right? Well, I guess so. 
So did you learn anything? Well, most of it is just as Marinarl said. It seems certain that a very long time ago, this Nede held influence over 70% of the entire galaxy, and it seemed to be an amicable relationship. Of course, we don't know the opinions of those on the side forced to coexist unless we ask them. I mean, I'm sure they weren't very happy with being dominated, so... In this regard, this seems to be not much different than the Earth Federation, right? What? Ouch, that hurts. Well, if we leave that alone, the, the problem is this. I noticed something a little interesting. Are they trying to introduce a gray area here? Like, oh, maybe, maybe the uh, the Nedians had a point. Uh, about 3.7 billion years ago, these men called the Ten Wise Men had planned to rule the galaxy in battle, and a battle occurred between them and other Nedians who opposed them. The Ten Wise Men lost the battle and were confined as prisoners in a jail in which time stands still. Are you following me so far? Well, yeah, I am. I'm not sure if Claude is, though. Is it just as, it is just as Narl said. Yes, that's right, but I haven't gotten to the important parts. The strange thing is that, even though there are so many books here, nothing else is written about this incident at all. Well, I mean... It, it, it was four billion years ago, so... Yeah, what do you mean? I mean, every single piece of literature that has the, has the exact same basic content regarding this incident if we ignore some slight differences in wording. The bad ten wise men tried to rule the galaxy, but they were defeated and punished by being confined as prisoners in a jail in which time stands still, that's it. I see. Isn't that a little unnatural? Exactly, by common sense this seems unthinkable. This incident occurred so long ago. You would think that normally at least one person would give some sort of distorted interpretation unless someone rewrote it all trying to hide the truth uh i i don't know if she has a point or if she's looking way too far into this there may be some sort of other side to this incident after all so is Narl trying to fool us? I don't think so. It was such an old incident. Why would Narl have any idea that there is another side to this incident? If Narl was lying, uh, Rana would have sensed it. Regardless, there is no way to investigate this further. If there are no references available, there is nothing I can do. Uh huh. Regardless of the past ten, the the fact that the ten wise men were are trying to destroy Expel, and really the galaxy doesn't change. Ultimately, the enemy to defeat is the same. Okay, the dev, the the developers of this game wouldn't put this here without there being some gray area. So maybe there is another side of the story. But I mean, the Ten Wise Men are still the antagonists, so... That is what I shall think at the moment. By adopting a space-time shift field, it is possible to open a portal to a world of a completely different place and time. Hey, we did that in Star Ocean First Departure! In the world of technologies deprived from heraldry science, Dr. Lantis, who was an authority throughout the universe at the time, proved to be the genetic... Wait, proved that the genetic sequence of us Nedians had the optimal conceivable arrangement for exercising the powers of heraldry, so it is logically impossible to obtain further powers. Ooh. Don't tell that to Lazard. 
Lazard always believes it's possible to obtain further powers. You know what? No, I'm... I... Okay. Shisato is trying to convince me that there's some sort of gray area. But... The, the, the ten wise men destroyed an, an entire planet. So... There, there can't be a gray area. Give me a break. Also, this does remind me of Lazard. It does. Because remember, he like... He... He didn't like how... He... Uh, you know, I'm, I'm not gonna spoil anything. Never mind. <laughs> Lazard wanted to become more powerful. Also, there was a character earlier in the game that reminded me of Lazard. Where, where did he go? He was uh, bothering Celine. Remember? What was that all about? Uh, Celine. We we met Celine because she was getting into an argument with some guy, and we never saw that guy again. Fairy Glass and another character that we never saw again was the uh, the three-eyed guy that appeared one time in one private action. I guess those are characters for extra playthroughs. I will I will meet them. Maybe on the next playthrough or something. If you're looking for Chief Researcher Rapus, I saw him in there. And where? In there? Excuse me. Okay, I guess there's nothing in here besides the fairy glass. The people next door are so noisy. Snoring. This class is horology chemistry. It is a required course. Look at this interesting picture on the wall. I wonder what that's of. My eyesight is not very good. Heh, that's that's why she's sitting closer. That, that's funny. Hey, you over there, if you are so sleepy, get out of here. That's everything in here. Yeah, yeah, I can't go in there. Okay, that is everything. I, I'm pretty sure that's everything. Right? Yeah, okay. I have not talked to this guy yet, I don't think. Traveling salesman in the snow. No one is buying anything. What will I do to live on today? What do you got? Oh, dictionary. Oh my gosh. That's a book for Leon. All right, this guy has good stuff. All right, I'm gonna get my team back together again. Hold on a second, before I leave. I need to see if there's anything else here. Nothing, nothing. This is, what? what is up? Noel, you can tell me, it's fine. Is Noel using her? No. All right, oh, bye. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that to go to the field of intelligence, we go east. East. Okay. That's funny. Earlier they said it was north, so that means we are progressing because the location of the next field we have to go to is different now that we're here. That's, r that's right. I'm back here. I just want to see if there's anything different now that I have all my team together. Uh, sure maze is gone. It was a weird private action. It was. It, maybe I can find her in here actually, if I if I keep looking. Oh, look at this animated thing right here. Get out of the way. Get out of the way. Yeah, look at that. That's interesting. What is that? It's it's neat, whatever it is. Oh my gosh. How did I how did I miss this room? Look at this. Also look. Look. There's a weird creepy picture of a person on the wall right there. What's up with that? Rafus has been working on some questionable research recently. I hope it doesn't turn out to be something bad. 
Who's Rafus? I have not met him yet. <laughs> Is he Lizard? No. <laughs> that joke's probably getting old. Uh, nothing. Look, there's like a bowbot there on the curtain. Okay, Shermaze sure is nowhere in this building. I don't know why. I just, I, I, I just want to know more about that whole situation between her and Noel. Honestly. All right, what are you selling? Holy cloak! That is so expensive, but it also looks so good. I'm gonna buy it. And this sounds nice. A, a steel ring that improves the wearer's attack power, but it makes you more vulnerable to to. To, to, to star damage, whatever that is. And I don't want anything on my characters that makes them more vulnerable to anything, so... I guess I'm not buying it. Alrighty. Also, it's funny, that robe I just bought Rena is actually worse. That's not a big deal, though. That It, it, it wasn't that expensive. All right, see you later, town, for good. I don't know what there is to do here. Uh, it just looks like a better Savalent to me. But... But yeah, nothing... Nothing happened there. So I guess it's... Completely optional. Right? I mean, I think so. All right, is this it? Is this it? I don't know. I'm scared. Oh my gosh. How do I get in there? Okay. Oh fuck. This is it. Oh boy. This is the field of intelligence? Question mark. Say, isn't something strange about this place? Oh my gosh. What's strange about it? Is it going to be hard as balls? Is that what's strange about it? What do you mean by something strange? I don't know, but I feel like there is something unnatural about it. Maybe. Oh boy. Okay, not yet. First, I'm going to save, and I shall end off this episode here. Thank you so much for watching, Dark Warriors. I will see you on the silver lining. Wait, I don't want to save over that file. Uh... 15. Okay. Let's go. Oh boy. If this is any harder than the last dungeon, then 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 I'm scared.